supposed to be music. It's so important when it hits the brain. I was real close to John Lennon. Mm-hmm. And one day the way I met him, is my wife said, John Lennon's people called. To him and Yoko is drugged out in a cave in Amsterdam. Mm. And people said, if you get Big Gregory, he can fix it. So I flew over. And I didn't know caves could look like Buckingham Palace. Huh? <laughs> right. I mean, them caves is fabulous. Mm. Okay, mm. so I go and, and now I did not know till after he was dead and a professor at San Diego was got the rights to, to do get some tape from him and do it do a book. And he got that from Yoga, mm. his wife, and then it, it said after Dick Gregory came to Amsterdam and straightened me and my wife out, we never went back to drugs again. I didn't know that. Mm. And so we got that close. We are, so I, I took a little bit of my ass. And so I'm at his house one day, and he was showing me his financial records. He said, from the time the Beatles was the Beatles, you know, before they broke up, mm-hmm. they made $87,000. Million. He said million. Okay. Dollars. And said, and he... Got the biggest share because he, he was writing, so he get that plus the writing. Mm-hmm. And he said, but that just represented, 87 million represented 3% of them that the agent ripped off the rest. You know, the one that wow. died in the swimming pool. Mm-hmm. So if you want to know what the agent made, you take $87 million and multiply it by 97. Oh, now, I say that to say this, so we talk, I say, well, man, that explains something to me. Why is it that the um, when they do the master, why that why that cost a half a billion dollars? Mm-hmm. You see, because on the flip side of what you're hearing, you're hearing the real thing. You be listening to me, da-da-da-da-da-da, but in the flip side of it, what you really hear is the devil is God, the devil is God. The devil is God. Mm-hmm. How can you win when you don't know this, right? Mm-hmm. And so, and, and and so, consequently, we talking, and and he's telling me, and then he told me something because I don't I don't buy records, I don't I don't I want music. I listen to his opera, and I don't even understand it, but I know the rich folks <laughs> that control the world. That's all they do is listen to opera. I go all over the world, Budapest, in the uh-huh. summer catching opera. I'll be right on the front row, the, the, the best ticket you can buy, and everybody scream, uh, you know, Bravo! I don't know what. I roll me, I go, I go, and throw flowers up. I do all of that, man. But I, that's, mm-hmm. and so anyway, uh, when you think about that industry, and now here's what he told me: that those records, how involved the government was, CIA, British intelligence, because all those records was about drugs. I didn't know that. He told me, so you know how high you got to be to see a yellow submarine. <laughs> You know the song "Hey Jude." Mm-hmm. Do 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 do. Okay. Do you know any of the words of them? No, sir. No, I say, do you know any of the words to it? No, I know the Lucy in the Sky and that with diamonds. Lucy in the Sky with diamonds. No, get to that yet. Uh huh. Hey, Hey Jude, say it was about heroin. Okay. Take a sad song and make it what? Hmm. Either Lucy in the. You know that's about LSD, right? Right. Right. Okay, so that's what that was about. And we just put it out there, and they, them old sanctified folks, see, we don't listen to it. They didn't know. They just could feel the No, you listen to that stuff. But, um, lipstick and all that stuff. Women wearing pants. Well, they didn't know this, but a woman's vagina breathes just like a human because life comes through there. Mm. And when you shut that down, you get all kind of infections. That's why when they come out with the, the pantyhose, your vagina cannot breathe through nylon, and a couple of lawsuits went up, and they judge busted them, made them pay big money, and now you buy pantyhose, they got that thin strip of cotton right there so your mm. vagina can breathe. So there's so much stuff out here. You men that wash your socks, you know, and uh, you look at it, and if you have black socks, the water turns black. Mm-hmm. You have you have you have brown socks turn brown. 
You never ask, what kind of dye is this that never dries? Huh? Mm. That I put on my feet, and my feet breathes that stuff up through the pores. Mm. And they got it over such a small minute of time, you don't add all of that to what's going on. And so when you stop and think about it, and the universe law is for every pound you weigh. If you weigh 100 pounds, you're supposed to drink half that in ounces in water. Mm-hmm. You weigh 500 pounds, you're supposed to weigh 250 ounces of water every day. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then you tune into the universe law. So they take us away from that and put us into the, into the other stuff. And then they got to the point now where they can put it on the label. And y'all get home uh, today, or those of y'all at home after the show, if you got your toothpaste there. I never understood how come my toothbrush have to stay in the bathroom. If you had a child that every time you gave them three meals a day, they take it to the toilet and eat it, you think something was wrong with it. But their toothbrush stay in there all day. The sandwich ain't going to last that long. Mm. I keep my toothbrush, I keep it in, in the freezer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so when you stop and think about this simple thing, and then as you think about that, then other stuff will open up. 